Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to test the sentry mode on an Autopilot 2 car. Now with Autopilot 2.5 you do get the recordings of the uh, front camera on the fenders and the one in the windshield uh, on the USB drive. I unfortunately am not getting that with my Autopilot 2 car or 2.0 car I should say. Uh, but I do still get sentry mode in the sense that you get a pop-up on the main screen and you do get the alarm with the classical music uh, that is triggered. Now there are a couple of ways that you can activate sentry mode. One is via the touchscreen and on the touchscreen you get a little information icon. If you click on that it gives you some information about uh, sentry mode also playing a loud music when the alarm is triggered. Avoid leaving sentient beings in the vehicle when sentry mode is active because that might give them some hearing damage. Um, it will also send recorded footage to Tesla for temporary backup. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm in an autopilot 2.0 car, which means that I don't have the USB option to store it locally. Another method of activating it is using the app. So on the app, if you go to your controls, then you see sentry mode here and you can activate sentry mode. And at the same time in the car, the sentry mode is activated as well. So yeah, let's test it. Now, in order to trigger that, first of all, we need to approach the car without a key. So I'm going to take the key and I'm going to drop it here. So it's outside of the car's reach. And now when I approach the car, then uh, first of all, we will get a pop-up once it recognizes that the person is uh, within the camera or within the sides of the camera. Um, and then when I put my arms inside, so I lower the window, you can see it already. I lower the window, so when I put my arms in, then the interior alarm should be triggered and that should trigger the sentry mode as well. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to uh, stick my hands in, I'm walking around. Right now, sentry mode is activated. I'm getting the protected by Tesla and recording, which is kind of a lie because it's not recording on the disc, but it is actually once the alarm is triggered, that data is sent to Tesla also. Um, not sure how you would be able to subpoena that uh, specific recording. Maybe you need like a court order or something, but yeah, I mean, it is still uh, warning the people to back off. And now I'm putting my hands inside which should trigger the alarm. It's not easy to do, but let's try this. So all the way back here, moving around real slowly, trying to get some motion in. There we go. So I had to shut this off, we're in an empty parking lot, but there are some buildings around here, so potentially some owners might be uh, pissed off by getting the alarm uh, too many times. But yeah, it, it does work, it is really cool to have that uh, feature, it is really loud as well, so please make sure that you don't have sentry mode on when you leave people inside the car and you accidentally take the key for example, because the alarm will be triggered and the alarm goes or the, the sound goes up to 11 and people inside would get potential hearing damage so please turn off sentry mode once uh, people are in the car also you have to trigger sentry mode each and every time when you drive the car so right now I haven't driven the car sentry mode is still active at this point so I can reactivate that if I want to but if you've driven the car right now the, you need to manually uh, activate sentry mode once more uh, that will change Elon Musk promised that there will be an update coming with a setting that you can have sentry mode always on or always on except for home and work or that you have to turn it on each and every time which leaves for several options for people that like those different options here so uh, yeah I hope you found this interesting so yeah if you like my videos uh, please give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button and don't forget to click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos and for now thanks for watching see you guys next time bye bye